To use the Design Studio, you are going to open up your aisle planner. This is your dashboard here and click on Design Studio. When you get started, you will see just kind of this gray area and we're going to go ahead and add in a style guide. You can choose a planning category if you'd like. This is definitely helpful for things like cake, florals. If you have any photos that you like or kind of a style of photography you like, definitely make a photo board and it'll help segregate these style guides if you do have multiples. I'm gonna start off with just this blank category here and we're gonna title it Dream Wedding. This is gonna be your first piece of homework. I want you to add maybe 15 to 20 photos that encompass what your dream wedding is. So it could be things like large scale, you know, photos of the reception of how the ceremony will look down to those little details. So perhaps corsages, boutonnieres, little like name cards, things like that. Anything that's stuck out to you that you would love to have at your wedding, that's gonna get added to here. So you can either click add your first image and upload any photos that you've saved to your desktop, or if you have a Pinterest or if you're looking at a blog or wedding website, a lot of times you can just drag and drop those as long as they're formatted as a photo. So I have Pinterest open on a separate screen. I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop in a few photos to show you how this looks when it all comes together. These are actually just random off of my Pinterest page, like my homepage when you log in. So these are just what's popped up first and it actually kind of is very cohesive and is creating a really cute little board. So I'm going to throw a few on here. So we have some tablescape, some florals, some signage, a very like modern, clean, classic, but a little bit more of that minimalistic vibe. So what you're going to do is add in your photos and then click on each one and you can leave notes. So you can comment Maybe I like the flower, but not the seated greenery around it. That way you can leave comments on specific photos to tell me what you like and don't like about a photo. Because let's say you uploaded, let's see, this photo here. You might be looking at it for the stage and the band and the twinkle lights and draping in the background. Whereas what I would initially look at is going to be this kind of forefront of the photo. So definitely make sure you mark what you are looking at in each photo and any likes or dislikes about it. Once you create your dream wedding board, I'm going to create for you a mood board that's going to go into a separate little style guide that's going to be more refined and kind of expand upon your ideas. While you're in the design studio, you will be able to go back to see other style guides by clicking style guides here or design studio at the top and you'll see the dream wedding board pop up. You are able to download this. Let's say we have a perfect board of like all your floral inspo. We can go ahead and download it by clicking this little um, bronze box up here at the top right corner. Include a style guide. Click on our dream wedding style guide close that and preview and print. So this is going to take you to a page where it is going to kind of congregate the style guides and put the notes on there as well. If you had multiple style guides as I scroll up and down, you'd be able to see the different guides and then you can go ahead and print it. You could save it as a PDF if you want to send this over to maybe some vendors, um, maybe some inspo to send over to some family and friends that are kind of wondering what the wedding's going to look like. But this is a great way to consolidate your ideas from Pinterest onto Aisle Planner. So Pinterest is a super helpful tool. It's so easy to drag and drop photos into here. I'll do another one for us now. If you do find things on, let's say, Instagram that you like, I would recommend doing this on your phone and screenshotting it and throwing the screenshots into the design studio. If you are on a desktop window, you do have to save it as a photo to your desktop and then upload it. So it is a little bit of a longer process. However, very easy, very user friendly and will help us create an idea of your dream wedding. You can also create these style guides if you have some ideas for maybe bridesmaids fashion you'd like to throw in there or attire in general to kind of see how the groomsmen's suits or tuxes and the bridesmaids dresses are going to mesh together. Feel free to create as many style guides as you'd like. This is 
for you, a tool for you to utilize, um, super helpful to kind of help make a cohesive um, aesthetic throughout your event.